It's been said necessity is the mother of invention. It's as true today as it was when General Washington was alive. Washington, as a tobacco farmer, switches to wheat in the mid-1760s. With 800 acres of wheat under crop, Washington faces the same challenge that wheat farmers have always faced. It's how to extract the tiny little wheat berries from the top of the stalk. The two methods available at Washington's time, both still used around the world today, are flailing and treading. For flailing, using a tool called a flail, you lay the wheat on the ground and you begin beating on it to knock the seed from the top of the stalk. Although effective, it's not terribly efficient. A more efficient method is to lay the wheat in a circular pattern in the barnyard. You stand in the middle, put a horse on a lead, and have that horse trot around or tread out that seed. Certainly more effective than beating it with a stick. But both methods share common problems. Once you've knocked that seed from the top of the stalk, you have to gather up all the straw, shake out the seed, and set about recovering those tiny little wheat berries from the barnyard. There's another challenge. Washington's harvesting is wheat late June, early July. And here in Northern Virginia, that's just in time for thunderstorm season. Once harvested, wheat has to be kept dry. If it gets wet, straight to the compost pile. The general, while sitting president in Philadelphia, puts pen to paper and comes up with the design of the 16-sided barn. He'll incorporate the very best method of processing horsepower, but moves the entire operation indoors and undercover. He's now eliminated the elements from the equation. The barnyard, where he can easily lose up to 20% of his product to soil and sky, is replaced with inch and a half gap flooring inside the barn. The wheat is laid out on the treading track about 18 to 20 inches deep. A team of horses brought up the ramp and once inside immediately put into a trot. Over that 45 minute period, the horses will knock 90% of the seed from the top of the stalk and leave 90% of that straw up on the treading track. Once the horses are led out, you'll gather up the straw, toss it out the window, and lay down another acre's worth of wheat. So over the course of the day, you're able to process out about six to seven acres. It's important to remember that Washington, although we see as the president, was also a business owner. So in being able to improve the efficiency of his operation will ultimately put more money in his pocketbook.